A continent away, another creature swarms in numbers that rival an ant colony, filling up on their own favorite food. Yet this swarm is harmless. In fact, they're preyed on by other residents of this paradise. But their worst enemy is man. Without touching a single bird, we could bring down the curtain on one of the greatest avian shows on Earth. Anyone who comes to witness one of the world's biggest bird shows gets more than they bargained for. The main event unfolds on this African lake. But all around lives a stunning supporting cast that deserves its own spotlight. The stage for this spectacle is Lake Nakuru National Park in central Kenya. The lake sits amid the Great Rift Valley, a 6,000 kilometer scar that runs through East Africa. 400 species of migratory birds thrive here. But these are the ones everyone comes to see. One million lesser flamingos. One of the biggest bird spectacles in the world. Lesser flamingos are the smallest of the world's six flamingo species. But here, less is definitely more. The lake holds one of the world's largest populations of lesser flamingos. In such a throng, youngsters could easily get lost. Flamingos can't smell. So, to identify their offspring, the parents rely on a different sense. That means flamingos talk, non-stop. A chick starts squawking before it even hatches, so parents can learn its voice. Flamingos feed in water. They spend so much time here, they've adopted their famous one-legged stance. Scientists have speculated that if they kept both legs in the cool water, they'd lose too much body heat. As they wade, they stamp their feet to stir up their meal. A favorite dish that is created by the unusual geography of the lake itself. Nakuru is a shallow lake with no outlet to the sea. So when water evaporates here, it leaves deposits of minerals. The white streaks on the shoreline are deposits of evaporated salt. High salinity normally means a lifeless lake, but here it's just the opposite. Nakuru produces a blue-green algae that the flamingos thrive on. Unlike other birds, flamingos use their beaks upside down. They use the lower bill and tongue to sluice water through fringes on the upper bill, straining the algae from the lake silt. One flock can filter more than 100 tons of algae in a day. A million flamingos produce a lot of waste. But the algae in the lake feed on their droppings, one of the strongest life cycles in nature. It's the reddish pigments in algae that give flamingos their distinctive color. But it takes up to two years of feeding for the chicks to turn pink, if they can survive that long. Predators keep an eye peeled for flamingo chicks. Of all the winged predators here, the biggest is the marabou stork. It can grow to a height of 150 centimeters, weigh almost nine kilograms, and with a wingspan exceeding three meters, it rivals that of the Andean condor. It preys on flamingo chicks and eggs, 
but mostly the stork scavengers for a free lunch. Any carcass will do, but with a million pink birds around, flamingo is the speciality of the day. Injured flamingos can also succumb to land-based predators, like lions, cheetahs, and hyenas. But the only creature that can dangerously dent their numbers is man. About two decades ago, a wave of deaths claimed some 40,000 birds. Then, two years later, 20,000 more. Over 20 years, the population has plummeted by some 20%. Scientists are stumped. Possible culprits range from heavy metals to pesticides to blood poisoning. Tests have revealed a range of metals, including lead, mercury and arsenic, at life-threatening levels. And now, the bird's own diet may be killing them. The algae they eat produces a lethal toxin that healthy birds can resist. But heavy metal poisoning may be weakening their immune systems. And as flamingos can live up to 50 years, the older the bird, the more toxins that can build up. Development poses another threat, including plans to build an industrial plant beside another lake that is a key breeding ground for flamingos. But flamingos are already living with another threat. Nakuru National Park is one of the world's great bird sanctuaries. Yet the lake is shrinking. In the last four decades, it has shrunk from 48 square kilometers to less than 37. Nearly a quarter of its area, gone. Unlike many other birds, flamingos are not predictable migrants. When they have a good thing going, they stay around. But if the lake keeps shrinking, then they'll have to find another. A million birds taking wing, risking death from winged predators or sheer fatigue. In the seasons ahead, you could still see a million here. Or just a few thousand. Or maybe none at all. Imagine a lake drained not only of water, but also of these stunning flamingos. Harmless creatures that splash colors around and brighten the world. Like all of nature's great ensembles, they dazzle us with the sights and sounds of a show-stopping production. And though humans may like to think that they're the stars of the world stage, flamingos are just one of many creatures that remind us we are merely just members of one large cast. <laughs>